Japan and North Korea have agreed now to meet and continue talks following three days of frank discussions in Stockholm that included the North's nuclear weapons program, as well as the state of Japanese nationals who are still believed to be in captivity after over 30 years. Well, I-24 News reporter Danny Smybel has the story. Delegations from Japan and North Korea met in Stockholm this week for what have been dubbed frank talks on a range of issues, including Japan's call for a reinvestigation of the abduction of at least 17 Japanese nationals by North Korea, five of which who were freed in 2002, as well as Pyongyang's nuclear ambitions. The Japanese side is also taking this opportunity to call for restraint on North Korea's nuclear missile development and actions that raise tensions in the area and on the Korean Peninsula. Additionally, we have asked they abide by the Japan-North Korea Pyongyang Declaration and UN resolutions. North Korea, which regularly threatens South Korea and the United States with destruction, is under heavy sanctions imposed by several UN resolutions beginning in 2006, but has defied pressure to abandon its missile and nuclear program. Currently, neither the North Koreans or the Japanese have high hopes of a positive outcome in these talks, and many in Japan are firmly opposed to granting concessions without solid commitments from the North to cease its production of nuclear weapons. Leader Kim Jong-un, who continues to use his nuclear weapons as a bargaining chip, last conducted a nuclear test in February 2013.